Welcome to clickmyproject.com Let me discuss about the project Dynamic Channel Assignment for Wireless Sensor Networks A Regret Matching Based Approach Let me discuss about the abstract of the project In wireless sensor networks employed with multiple channels in order to reduce the interference as well as support parallel transmission Energy usage over the network dramatically increased because of usage of multiple channels to overcome this problem, which was addressed above statement, have been achieved by proposed a regret matching based channel assignment algorithm. In this strategy, each sensor node elects its choice of channels based on the channel state information, which leads to reduce the interference. In RMC approach is more distributed over network and limited information is exchanged among sensor nodes so that can achieve minimum delivery ratio even less number of flows performed. This algorithm performed well for time invariant flows and network topology. It provided better network performance in case of delivery ratio and packet latency compared with existing methods such as control MMSN and randomized CSMA. Deploy the sensor loops over network and assign the non-overlapping channel for receiving packets from various sensor nodes. The utility function is delivered based on the valid receiving ratio and average packet transfer delay. Based on the utility function, all sensor nodes are completely measured without exchanging the information among other nodes. At last, channel assignment by RMCA to time invariant transmission flows to reduce interference efficiently. Let me discuss about the flow diagram for our process. Initially, place the sensor node in the network with the specified radius and allocate the channels for nodes randomly based on the number of channels. In the receiver centric channel assignment way, the channel the sender sensor uses to send its determined by the receiver sensor of the transmission and the receiver sender relationship is determined by the flows in the network and the network topology. Instead of explicitly coordinating each sensor node only relies on a history of its observation to predict the environment variation and the actions of other sensor nodes and then selects a channel to respond to this prediction. Next, regret matching based channel assignment algorithm are proposed. The system makes each sensor node performs a modified regret matching procedure to play the channel assignment game to achieve a better trade-off between energy consumption and the network performance. The system proposes a recursive approach to compute the estimated average regret. Based on the recursive approach, here summarize the regret matching based channel assignment algorithm for each sensor node. Next, the packets are sensed on the every channels. Once the packet is fully received, the valid packet and some delay are counted. If the packet is not fully resumed, then the wrong packet count will be increased. Next, the estimation of average packet transfer delay, packet delivery ratio and valid receiving ratio. Three main metrics, packet delivery ratio, valid receiving ratio and average packet transfer delay are considered to evaluate the degree of interference. For a sensor node receiving packet, some of them are sent to it and called valid packets, while others are not sent to it but overhead by it. BRR is defined as the ratio of the valid packets the sensor node has received to all the packets here by it. ATD is defined as the average packet transfer delay of all the valid packets. ATD reflects the network performance in terms of packet latency as well. Finally, estimation of play probabilities of channels. Play probability assignment is based on a history of past experience. The channel assignment by RMCA can adapt itself the variation of the flows and network topology and improve over time. Sensor node only receives the packet from sender in each stage. In the game theoretical framework, the problem is formulated as a multi-agent, multi-objective.
problem finally we analyze the performance let me discuss about the running procedure for our process select the main dot m file in the current folder right click the file and run for executing this process this is the main window for dynamic channel assignment for wireless sensor networks a regret matching based approach by pressing the enter number of sensor nodes we have to enter the number of sensors node to be participated. Now I am entering five number of sensor nodes. Here I deploy the number of five number of sensor nodes and the sensing radius is ten, coverage area is hundred cross hundred. And now by pressing the node for receiving packets, we have to enter any node among the five number of nodes. And here we have to enter the node for receiving. Um, here I am entering the node as 2. And by press enter, then we have to press the deploy flow for transmission button. By pressing the deploy flow for transmission, we perform the flow that is channel assignment for every node to the selected nodes here the frequency for channels are represented for every flows and by now by pressing the transferring packets button to perform the packets of transferring here we need to enter the message for channel 1 and now we have to enter the message for channel 2 now we have to enter the message for channel 3. Totally we have used 3 channels. Now the packets are transferred from channel 1 to 2. Likewise the packets are transferred from uh, remaining channel to selected channel that is second channel. So this process will be repeated for entire sensor nodes. So this will take some time for executing. Now the packets are transferring from third channel to second channel and fourth channel to second channel. Now the packets are transferring from fifth channel to second. This will take some time for executing. Once the process will be completed, we have obtained the message that is transfer messages from all nodes. After that, we have obtained the utility function and also average record value. Now, by pressing the performance analysis button, we obtain the performance graph for every nodes and the performance parameter as delivery ratio, packet delay latency and also packet latency. This is the values we obtained for PDR, ATD and VRR versus interfering nodes. This is the graph, graphical representation for PDR, ATD, VRR versus number of interfering nodes. And this is the packet delivery ratio and packet delay that is packet latency versus channel length and this is the packet delivery ratio for static flows and the latency for static flows versus number of flows graph and this is the packet delivery ratio and latency versus various frequency and this is the graphical representation for packet delivery ratio for time invariant flows by latency for time variant flows. This is the delivery ratio for adjusting process of RMCA. This is the packet delay for adjusting process of RMCA. And this is a graphical representation for packet delay and also delivery ratio versus various stage K. This is the comparison in terms of extra overhead caused by channel usage negotiation. And this is the adjusting process of RMCA along with increase of stage K. This is packet latency and delivery ratio versus 
various values of stage K. And this is the comparison of average packet delivery ratio for various methods. This is the comparison of average packet latency for various methods. Finally, the system proposed dynamic channel assignment in WSN to exploit parallel transmission as well as reduce interference efficiently. Thank you.